What's going on everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to Sephora's Horizon 5 with this thing. It's it's sick. I love it already. Before I, before I even get to do anything to it, I love it already. This is the Mercedes 500E. This is just, it's just an old school classic saloon from Mercedes with a big old lump under the bonnet. Making a lot of noise. Not being incredibly fast, but it being very heavy and actually... Quite luxurious. Well, lots of leather inside and wood inside and all that. It's also a big slush box automatic with only a four-speed in it as well. It's pretty much super, super similar to what the uh, what the boys at AMG did. But basically, they used to take these cars at AMG. Well, the coupe they did anyway, and uh, they used to turn it into the hammer, pretty much. And if you know me, I absolutely love the hammer. And uh, yeah, this is just basically a saloon version of it without all of the AMG bits and pieces on it. So it's still got all the chrome all over it. And it just looks just it just looks like a normal pedestrian car, right? It just looks kinda normal. And I feel like with this car we can actually turn it into a bit of a bit of a monster. A bit of a a bit of a sleeper though. So let's try and do that. Let's try and build this thing up and see if we can put some silly engine in it or if we can squeeze a lot of horsepower out of this engine that we have in it now. So Let's uh, let's try that. Right now it's in B class, six one six. I'm gonna try probably change a couple of things on this car um, in uh, in terms of performance, but not looks. And then also at the very end, I'm gonna probably try build it for something specific. But I just want to see how much power we can squeeze out of this thing. First and foremost, any visual changes? No, unfortunately not. It's still just Forza Aero. Yucky. That is vile. Come on, man! You could, there's a there's a wing that you could actually put on this thing that is actually on the Mercedes like 190s and like the just the just the. Uh, it's so annoying. It's just annoying. It's annoying knowing that there is a smaller little like wing that you could put on it, like a little smaller that you could put on this thing, and it actually looks really good. But it's not in the game, unfortunately. I also just noticed that this paint is a two tone, so the top half and bottom half are different colors. I just noticed that. So right now, completely stock, this thing makes 322 horsepower, 480 newton meters of torque, and weighs 1,749 kilos. Uh, front engine, rear wheel drive, 5 liter V8 in it, with like I said, the big slush box 4 speed automatic. It changes gears really slowly, and the gears are super, super long in it. So let's do a lot of things to this car. Let's do a lot of things. What are the engine options available for this? 5.2 V10, okay. Lamborghini, Audi, whatever, V10. Racing V8. A 6.9 liter V12. But oh, we have this racing engine as well. I think this one actually will make more power than this one. This is the Huayra R engine, it, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There's some mad engines in this thing. How much power does this make, actually? Can this, can this make the full on... I want to see. What do I look at the power was? 1,356 horsepower, 1,385 newton meters torque. <laughs> that is insane. What about this one? What are we looking at for this? Oops. 1,144 and then 1,100. Okay, that's not that's not the best. And then we go to this V12 here. Twin turbo that, and then upgrade this. This is what I think this one might make the most amount of power. But I'm not 100% certain. It might be the V8, though. The V8 does pack a, a big punch. 1368. No, never mind. It's this one. It is the V12. And 1523 newton meters of torque. This is just straight up going to be. I'm going to do this, so I don't really want to lag on it. This is going to be an absolute monster. I wonder if the top speed of this thing is going to be, like, anything decent. I hope it is. I need tires. I, I, I genuinely need tires for this. Unfortunately, I have to put on the slick tires for it, but I, I think I just genuinely just fully need them. We can put 305s on the rear end of this thing. The thing is, though, it still makes so much power. I don't know if the front end will be able to, to handle this. Would I just put all-wheel drive on it? I also don't even want to change the track. Oh, the track width actually looks really good. Once it comes out, but it looks like such a classic if I just leave it completely stock. So that's what I want to do. I want to keep this thing as close to stock as possible. Looks wise. 
But at the same time, I kind of want to just change a couple of things in it. So I'm going to put carpet ceramics on it, but I'm going to get rid of the red paint on it. Oh, the drift suspension. I'm uh, I'm tempted to do drift drift stuff to this thing, but at the moment, I just want to, like I say, build this thing just to try and... Man, this almost has a 1 to 1 power to weight ratio at 1,300. This is like a Koenigsegg 1. This is ridiculous. What a mental car. <laughs> what the hell? I'm actually happy that we're able to change a lot of things on this car. Look at it! Look at the stats! Making this all-wheel drive will make it heavier, but it will make it so I can grip up a little more. 229 mile an hour top speed. We can stretch that out, surely. 272. 2725 is pretty much what we're looking at here. I didn't, I didn't even want to change the suspension on it. Okay, even this, I'm going to soften the anti roll bars a lot. And there's nothing else that I can really change on this thing. I'll just do that. There you go. This is going to be dumb, man. It's going to be so fast. I just want to see what acceleration is like on it. I'm a little tempted. Look at my launch control. It's all, I'm literally not allowed to drive. <laughs> I'm flooring it right now. I'm, wait, can I show you if I'm flooring it? Yeah, look. Look at my throttle. It's 100%. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's sketchy. What car did I drive recently that I did the same thing to and I made it... Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. There it goes. Can I try to race this guy? What's the end? I don't even know what the car what, what, what car that was. TVR? This is dumb. It's got so much power. I kinda wanna race someone, like just a just a little highway race. Oh he's there, he's coming. It is a TVR. I don't think I'll be able to catch him because he's already had like a massive head start. Oh, there's a bunch of people here. Let's see what these guys are doing. Should I try and see if I can race them? Was that a Supra? Of course he's in a Supra. Why wouldn't he be in a Supra? Oh, this is perfect. If they do pulls, this is perfect. Come on, Supra. Where is he going? I don't know where he was going. He just went off. Alright, I guess. It kind of keeps up with it. It kind of keeps up with it. <laughs> it's stupid. It just looks so stock as well, even, even with the soft suspension and everything. And it pulls, what, 270 miles an hour? Ridiculous car. Alright, well, I wanted, let's actually do stuff to this thing. I, I kind of want to build this thing for racing and see what it's like, so let's build it for, for racing. And it probably dropped the class down as well quite a bit. Uh, I don't really need this much power in this thing, so I'm going to probably bring it back down. I'm probably even going to use the stock engine for it, to be honest with you. Um, so let's do that. Let's use the stock engine. We could even turbocharge or supercharge the stock engine as well, uh, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Let's supercharge it. We'll leave the tires on it. We'll, we'll just build this thing to the top of a class. How about that? And uh, unfortunately, since I'm building this thing for racing, I will have to do this to it. Unfortunately, um, racing, sus racing suspension. That's perfect. Everything else is pretty much all done for me, right? I don't even have to do anything else. I mean, all I have to do now is just kind of worry a little bit about performance. All right, I'll give it a supercharger. Uh, and maybe an intake. Make it make it a little louder. Nice. Sounds 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 pretty decent. Pretty fruity. Um what was it gonna do here actually? Let's do 
track width for the wheels. Because I feel like that will help a lot. Why is this sound camped? Did you hear that? <laughs> the idol is... The idol sounds crazy on this thing. That looks ridiculous though. I kind of want to paint it white. I don't know why. Either fully white or like black black with grey. If that makes sense. I, even, I don't even want to change the wheels. It kind of... If we could change this thing or, or build it into like a touring car. Could you imagine that? How cool would that be? This is the color that I, I, I thought of. Either this color, the black and grey. This is perfect. This is exactly what I was thinking of. Um, the red is actually not too, too bad. The blue, nah. All grey, very, very hot. Green looks hot as well. And then the all white. I think we're going with the two-tone black and grey. I think the two-tone black and grey is uh, is up there for, for this thing. Again, even the wheels, like I don't even want to change the wheels for, on this thing. It just they look so iconic. I know it's just a weird like bottle block, just a just a single like piece of metal type of wheel. And it doesn't look very it looks it looks like a rotary dial on a phone, if you guys remember those old phones. I don't know how many of you guys from the from uh <laughs> from you guys that are watching my videos actually remember any of those phones, but the rotary dials on the phones, that's exactly what the wheels remind me of. I definitely need to change my gear ratios, because I stretched them after top speed and this <laughs> I'm not gonna be using them for top speed. Oh god. <laughs> Look at him. Okay. Alright, let's fix that. Alright. This thing is done. And oh my god, it grips up. It like properly grips up. It really grips up. Like I'm forcing it to slide. It just grips and goes. Interesting. What about tight corners? Oh my god, even the steering angle for tight corners is really good. I am a little tempted to bring this thing on a little racetrack. A little tempted to race this thing. I know a lot of people have been asking, especially for um, for me to like just go and test my cars out on a very specific track, and I may do that from now on. Uh, is it Pinewood Hills? No, not Pinewood Hills. There's another one. It's Alpine Heights, right? Alpine Heights is the one that I think I used in one of the previous videos, and uh, I think people were telling me that I should try and use this thing to like kind of benchmark cars and stuff. So 450 horsepower is kind of where we ended up with this thing. I don't think it needs more. I think for A class, this is just just fine, and it's it's a fun it's a fun build. I don't think it's going to be very competitive with anything. Maybe it could be, but uh, yeah, like I said, I've had people in the comments in some of my previous videos telling me to actually use this truck to to benchmark some cars. I'm down, definitely down. The launch control is pretty funny though on it, as it does want to slip a lot. No, genuinely, the front end just pulls in the direction that you want to go. I mean, I did put a, a slight tune on it, but I didn't do anything crazy to it. I think the air also really helps a lot. Coming out of corners, there's a slight slip from those rear tires. If I floor it, if you're smooth on the throttle coming out of the corners, I mean, genuinely, if you floor it out of the corner and you just... You, uh... You expect the back end to come out, like you just know what it's gonna do. It's pretty easy, you just start counter steering really early, and you're fine. The car will basically just almost not even want to slide at that point. Like, even the, the tiniest bit of a slide is actually good for the car because it rotates it really nicely. Apart from that, it's nice and responsive. The front end, like I, th like I said, it just pulls in the direction that you're, you're pointing, it just wants to go in that way. Absolutely zero, zero, zero understeer with this thing. It's actually a tiny bit of oversteer with it. But it's just, it does a really good job. I'm a little tempted to take it out on the Golden Toga as well. I also made the suspension still somewhat soft, so you can see it kind of lean a little bit, but it actually helps a lot. I kind of want to do one run on the Golden Toga with it as well, since so it's been a long time since I've done it. But on this track, Let's try to do a, a rolling lap and I'll try to see what sort of time I can squeeze with it. I'll try not to go off the track too much.
So I'll do I'll do my best. I'll just do one one rolling lap. Like it's just so intuitive. Like I know when I need to start braking. I know how and when I should accelerate. It's just so easy to to learn how to drive. Probably shouldn't have braked there. I just didn't expect the track to be so wide. Here I definitely do need to brake. This is the next couple of corners. Here I went a bit too fast, but it's fine. I'm carrying my speed through that. There you go, there's the exit sideways. Slightly sideways. But again, if you're just smooth with it, you're perfectly fine. You, you, you'll have no issues whatsoever with it. You can even keep it in fourth instead of third for some of those corners. And this thing has a lot of torque anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It just pulls out of corners. And no, no issues. It's nice. Seriously, I like it. Yeah, I'll do this and then I'll do one run on Golden Target and we'll have a look and see what that's like over there. What sort of time I can put down. I don't think it's going to be insanely fast or anything like that, but I just want to see. Ah, I feel like that was a bit of a cut there. But it's fine. What, what lap are we doing? 133? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Alright, one run on the Golden Target as well. Just to see. It's been a while, so it's nice to return to this, uh, to this track and give it a shot. Sim steering on. That's eh, fine. We're all good. Let's go. Let's hit it. Why well, actually even need shorter gear ratios? Oh, sounds good from cockpit view. Sounds really good from cockpit. Yeah, maybe gear ratios are fine. It is still bulky and still. I mean, it's not heavy, right? It's like 1300 kilos. It's not actually that bad. This is not a particularly fast. Not a particularly fast track, so I need as much grip as possible, and obviously, the more grip you have, the faster you can go through some of these corners, so. That's why I like this. It's nice and tight, so you can kind of play around with the car a little bit, but not too much, because then you'll hit everything. But it's nice and tight, so you have to be very careful with, with how you drive. That's why I always, always like driving on the Golden Tug. It's just a fun, it's a fun track to, to drive on. I thought my back end was about to slip out there. I think I overcorrected slightly. Yeah, it's not that fast. It is not that fast of a car. Not on this track, but it, the handling is just perfect for it. It is sublime. Definitely, definitely do not all-wheel drive swap this thing. I feel like you're gonna get rid of the... Uh, the lovely balance that this thing has. Seriously, genuinely, a really, really good car. Like I said, it's not going to be OP for anything, I don't think, but... It just seems like such a nice car to drive. Maybe off-roading. Maybe it'll be good for off-roading. I don't know. Some of these cars will... You slap on those off-road tires on it, and if they grip up this nicely on the road... They'll be unbelievable off-road in some... In some aspects, so... I don't know. If you guys have built this thing for anything else, let me know that in the comments below, because I'm definitely going to try it out. I also still need to do a video on uh, trying your tunes, which is something I haven't done in a while. So if you have anything to send over, do so over on my Discord. Link to that is down below. Go and, uh, go and check that out. I'm going too slow for some of these corners. Like, I'm generally just too slow. Like, I feel like I can pull some serious speed through some of these corners, and I'm just... Like I said, I'm just too slow. Uh, it's a little bit of a bulky car, so maybe we slow down a little bit here. Oh, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Big chunky boy. Coming through the... 
Through the gap. I'm not even gonna like restart or anything like that. I don't really care for the time that much. I just wanted to see what it was like, like in a tighter section like this. Let's just say we lost like 10 seconds off our time there. Probably more, but let's just say 10 seconds. So I think there's still areas on this track that I can go a lot faster on. I can also, again, even adjust my tune a little bit more as well, so I can, I can maybe even try to get it to not oversteer at all. Which right now, it kind of plays around a little bit on the on the edge of of grip with that rear end like it wants to oversteer a tiny bit for some of the corners and you'll see like me playing with the wheel a little bit when the back end steps out but I think that can be like slightly slightly um, improved so it doesn't do that as much but again just with a little basic setup on it it is a fantastic to drive really really nice Really, really, really nice. I don't know what the fastest time on this track was in A-Class, but it was, it was very quick. I can't remember if it was sub 4 minutes. I don't think it was. For regular cars, I think the, the fastest fastest regular car was like 4, 425, I think? Something like that? I don't even know. 447 with it. Take off, let's say, uh, at least 10 seconds off that time. 437, it's not bad. It's, it's really not bad. And again, slight slight change in my tune and we can get it to be even faster. Not crashing in the gap, also getting it to be faster. But just overall, this is a this is a sick car. I think maybe even with like drift suspension that, you can probably get this thing to do a little bit of this as well. You know? Because I'm pretty sure Mercedes, especially from this era, like older Mercedes have like silly, silly uh, angle. Like just steering angle, they, they just do. And then, uh, now imagine, like, combining that with drift suspension, you know? Like, just without me doing anything, I'm just gonna do this, and this. All I did was add drift suspension and snow tires. <laughs> Let me try something. Without doing anything else, not even adjusting my diff or anything like that, not adjusting my tune whatsoever. Just, just like this. What's it like? Yeah, like it's, it's just easy. The steering angle is just there as well. I knew it'd be easy as well. I knew it would be easy to slide these old mercs. They're just too, too good. Where am I even going? What's happening? This is, what, 400 horsepower? Let's pull in slides like this. Let me do one of these, like, uh, little loops here. Before entering the highway. It's such a well-balanced car. It's lacking the power. It's lacking the power going uphill. Coming back down, I guarantee you, it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, see what I mean? Much, much, much easier. It's a really good car for a lot of things. Damn, man. I enjoyed this thing. That was fun. I feel like it's a little bit of a long-winded video, this one, but I don't really care. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Mercedes 500E. Uh, new car that you get for getting your 20 points this, this week. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.